and back again for another daily spark of possibility. Today I want to talk about what is it that you're actually selling. And I don't really care what you sell because it, I think it always comes down to almost the same thing. People buy stuff, and I've talked about this quite a lot because I'm really convinced that people buy what they value. Now, the question is, if you take that one step further, why do they value what they value? And it, when you kind of push back down, push back, it always comes down to a feeling. And I think when we can tap into that, when it comes to marketing and, and helping a potential client decide, things get a lot easier and a lot more powerful. And what really sparked this is a conversation I had um, yesterday. And my coach Meg asked me, because last week, I don't know whether if you saw the video about me renaming this particular video series from Daily Sparks of Inspiration to Daily Sparks of Possibility. And possibility like it really gives me always that kind of warm feeling in, in my chest, really. It's almost a physical thing that it feels really right. And and she asked me at some point, she asked me, so what is that name change that we got to last week? What's valuable in that for you? And immediately what came up for me is that, yeah, yeah, the name. That was just a byproduct. The name is cool and it feels, but what I really got out of that session, why it was so powerful was because it. I've been having this grounded, rooted certainty that I know what I've got to offer. And that shows in all different ways. And the name of the series, it's sort of just like a byproduct. So what she's done for me is actually a lot deeper than help me find a new name for a, you know, for a, a project, a series of videos that I kind of wasn't quite happy with the, na the way I'd named it. So it went a lot deeper. It, it went to that level of confidence, of clarity, and that is what's valuable. And that's really what, what she offers. So what are you offering, really? when you look below the surface of the actual product and how can you help your clients understand that?